Recently, I posted a video in which I explained the legal liability that Trump is in between mid-January and mid-March on account of multiple very threatening transits, most especially those of Saturn and Jupiter, Saturn opposing his Mars, which rules his legal house, Jupiter transiting through his axis, Hollywood T-square, an area that he always does very poorly through. And furthermore, Uranus, Neptune, and Eris are also adding pressure. And so this becomes a really dangerous period in his life. And now you may remember that a little while back, an issue that had been in the background, and if not perhaps forgotten, has suddenly been brought to the front burner, namely the Stormy Daniels liaison that he is said to have had back in 2006, and which then led to a payment by his then lawyer, Michael Cohen, of $130,000 as hush money to keep her quiet prior to the 2016 election vote. And then he paid him back through installments, I believe $35,000 installments, trying to hide the nature of the exchange. I believe he even tried to claim it as a deduction, which is typical Trump as well. The question is, is Stormy a threat to Trump based on the astrology? We have an accurate time for her, born March 17, 79, 1, 10 a.m. in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And this gives us multiple points that show the importance of the relationship. Her son, at 26 degrees Pisces, goes exactly to where Neptune is transiting, thereby lighting up the Neptune square to his sun and to his moon. This in itself would be enough to tell you that she's a serious threat to him. The eighth is the house of sex, literally. But you can add more because her Neptune is right on his moon. The fifth is another place where love affairs or flings show up. And indeed, there's the connection, Neptune conjoining the moon. Her Mercury at eight degrees Aries goes right into the axis Hollywood T, thereby together with Jupiter, lighting it up. Eris, Neptune, and Mercury. And you can add her Jupiter in his 12th sign, not too far away from his Venus. That's a threat in the sense that you don't want Jupiter there because these are hidden planets. It's where secrets are held and so forth. And Jupiter there threatens to bring them into the foreground, which is in fact what is happening now. And finally, her Pluto goes right to where his Jupiter is in fact, they're almost exactly conjunct, and if you look at her current progress Pluto, the degrees are almost exactly where his Jupiter happens to be. But perhaps even more fascinating is when you consider the composite chart. When you take their two charts and create a third chart, which is the chart of the relationship, and then you get this chart. And this is so reflective of both what happened between them and what is happening to them now, because you look at the chart itself to describe the relationship, but then you look at the transits to the chart to see what is happening. In the chart itself, multiple planets in the eighth of sex with the sun there and Venus, which is the ruler of the ascendant. Mercury tube, main point is lots of energy describing the topic, further energy in Virgo in the 12th, hidden flings, that's what that house connects to. Moon's in Scorpio, Nept Neptune is in Scorpio. That also makes a lot of sense, and Scorpio is a sex sign. But notice in the transits that Saturn, as this came to light in recent days, has been squaring Mercury, and now is yet to square Moon, which means this will continue because this will happen in February, the square to the Moon, and after that, it's going to go into Pisces, and when it does that, it will oppose Uranus, then square Mars, and then oppose Jupiter. And the big problem here is that that'll last a whole year because Saturn moves all the way up almost to the Jupiter degrees and then backtracks and runs over the Uranus and Mars degrees one more time. So basically, all of 2023 is a major threat in terms of this chart getting activated and not in an easy way. 
And meanwhile, Uranus will move up to conjoin the Mercury in 2023 around mid-year. Notice that Uranus is the co-ruler of the f fifth in the composite chart, which is the house of flings and affairs, but it's in the 12th of hidden flings and affairs in terms of the birth nature of the chart. So this Uranus is very descriptive of the building scandal, let us call it. So bottom line, is she a threat to Trump? The answer is she most definitely is.